Hello, everyone. I am Kyle Roberts, joined by Tom Cogswell Hello. and the Spectrum team. Yeah. We wanted to put together a real quick video on updating your firmware on the DX6R. We just announced the uh, Raceware 2.02 .02 and figured this was a perfect opportunity to, opportunity to show you guys how to quickly do this and make it nice and easy. Yeah, I mean, it's super easy, but if you haven't done it before, you know, this might be kind of daunting to you. So yeah. we'll show you how easy it is. And yeah. along the way, we'll explain the benefits of 2.02. .02. Yeah. There's a big one. Yeah, and this is, uh, this is my own personal 6R, so it has not been done. So this is the original Raceware 2.0, which is what it shipped with, correct? Right. So you'll see everything from start to finish. So what do we got to do here, Tom? So let's first open up Raceware. I want to see what okay. version you have, just so we can show people, okay, this is the version prove you it. have. We're going to prove it to prove you guys it. here. Yes, exactly. Get everything kicked on here. Yep, it won't take a little second, Dale. Fast forward. I had everything closed beforehand because I thought we were just going to delete it. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. All right. So we are on the main dashboard screen. Yes. We'll swipe to the right. Swipe right. Swipe right again. Mm -hmm. Swipe right again. Uh, and we are going to look for system settings. So I believe it's at the bottom. Model setup app settings. Uh, tap on. Ver there you go. Version 2.0.0.0. Yep, there it is. Point yep. zero. That is version 2. That's what it's been shipping with for a little while. Um, you may even have something before that. Even if you never updated before, really you should have because there's been a lot of good updates with 2.0, but 2.02 uh, .02 brings some extra yes. features. So yes, it does. Let's do that. Um, real simple. So you don't have to register your radio mm -hmm. and find the serial number or anything like that to update this radio. It is built into Google Play, into the Android system. That's what's so cool about these Android-enabled radios like the iX12. Um, where and I am, able to I am connected to Wi-Fi already. I should Good. point that out. You have to connect to Wi-Fi to do this. <laughs> yes. I was about to say that too, but you got to connect to Wi-Fi, so make sure you have a Wi-Fi access point around and you know the password to it and all that. Don't be calling us to ask us for the password. We don't know it. Um, so, let's go to the Google Play Store. Got it. Let me see. Actually, mine is not a shortcut. Play Store. Mm -hmm. And you will search for Raceware. Bear with us while we type here. Going to block the screen probably a little bit. Oh, look. It's in my history. How about right. that? Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and make that a little easier. It's okay. almost like we planned it. Top one is Raceware. We'll tap on that. Now it says installed. Obviously, because we have the 2.0. Mm -hmm. And you've got the word update there. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. So you could scroll down and kind of show. It'll have a, a couple of added little mm -hmm. bullets and things like that. Yeah. Give you some information kind about the raceware. Yeah. But we will update it now. Perfect. So I hit it. There we go. Make sure you read, guys. you got to read this stuff. It's important. It's not a lot of reading. <laughs> <laughs> Don't always just accept the terms and conditions, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. Downloading. Yep. So Kyle, he backed up his models on his uh, DX6R. Yep. I don't believe you have to do that, but it's always a good idea to back up your models before you do an update, just in case something. It's super easy. Like I did, I, I did it in like, like not even three minutes. Yeah. I was gonna say three minutes. It was probably like a minute. Right. It's very easy. Yeah. And now we're just at the mercy of Our technology. Falling. Okay. So we're installing. Uh, we'll take this opportunity to kind of go over what is new. Yeah. Oh, look it's at already that. done. Um, so what's new with this raceware? Uh, simple. There's a way to use the scroll wheel on the back to navigate the menus. It goes up and down as you scroll. We've added telemetry, uh, a couple of telemetry features. You can use the TM1500 with it. Uh, so that's our telemetry module that you can plug into a receiver. Um, and then you can. You also get a telemetry signal which is going to be on the top of the, uh, as you're driving, you'll have like a little signal that tells you, okay, you're getting out of range. Yep. You can come back. It's pretty, it's pretty useful. But the biggest thing that's new is DSM-2 compatibility. Yes. So before, the DX6R was DSM-R only. Uh, we were just trying to see if, you know, if that was something that people would adopt. Uh, and we decided that, you know what, let's give them DSM-2. So we worked hard yep. to do that, and now it's available. All right, we're saying update successful. And it looks like we just have to do a quick reboot here. So as it, you saw there, it just went through the update. It updated the channel processor, or what we call the CP. And he's going to go, go ahead, ahead and close out all of the that. apps that And I there. just hit settings because it was right below where my finger was. And let's see, where are we at? Oh, I'm going to have to redo my shortcut yep. here, aren't I? Anyway. So when you, whenever you update uh, Android app on these, 
you have to put the uh, uh, the app icon back on your yep. home screen. So you can, you'll find it in the menu, and you'll just go ahead and just yep. hold and put it down. Yep. Yep. Booting it back up here. All right. See, he's still got his models there, so it didn't delete his models. Um, we can show everyone. Can show everybody what models he's got on yeah, there. Perfect. I love it. You can put your own pictures in it and everything. You got that all hooked up. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's easy. It is easy. <laughs> I love this radio. Let's show everybody that it did update. Just okay. to kind of say, okay, it is on 2.02. So okay. See if you can Same way. We're going to swipe all the way back to where we were, which was here, and go up. Look at that version 2.02. And I'll kind of show you, we can scroll up and down using the little scroll wheel. Oh, it's kind of handy. I mean, it's and nice and kind of gimmicky, but I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, everything's still functionally with your finger. You can do it. But now, as you see, I'll take my hand away and go to the wheel, and you can do the same. So That's pretty handy. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So We're done, basically. I mean. It's done. <laughs> and now he can bind to his old DSM-2 receivers. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for checking this out. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment, especially if you're watching on YouTube, if you're on Facebook. Let us know. We're pretty good about monitoring mm -hmm. this stuff. And uh, either I'll jump on there or Tom will jump on there and yeah. help you guys out. Spectrum so. RC's Facebook and Horizon Hobby. Yeah. We'll be there for you. Yeah. Thanks, guys.